Now in front of us right now, we have one of our vehicle specific Red Arc dual battery kits. And this one's vehicle specific to the 150 series Land Cruiser Prado. So the first part of the kit, the main brains of the kit is the Red Arc BCDC 1225D. And that's a three stage battery charger. It's a three in one unit, three stage battery charger while you're driving. It's a solar controller while you stop with green power priority. And it's also an isolator. So it isolates between the main battery and the auxiliary battery so that in no way can anything that you're running off the auxiliary battery flatten the main start battery. So we'll just run through what's included in the kit, where everything's located and installed and how easy it is to get it into your 150 series. Firstly, you're gonna have a bag of goodies when you open the kit and there's two different brackets in here depending on which model you have. Um, for the three hole mount. So there's two, two holes up the top of the laser cut stainless steel bracket, which utilize the existing Toyota mounting points in the, in the Prado. So there's no requirement of drilling any holes or screwing into anywhere. It, as easy as it is to install, it's that easy to take back out. So you're just undoing existing Toyota bolts, reinserting them, putting the bracket into place. And there's also a third hole mount, which depends on your model, but that's utilizing this bracket, basically be mounted down here and picking up a third bracket, a third mount. So in this packet of goodies is the instruction manual for the Red Arc BCDC and also for the bracket walking you through how to go through that. But if we just scroll down on their website, Aussie Drifter Touring, I'll just show you, we can see basically where it is located in a vehicle. So you can see it's in the front section in front of the radiator. You've got your main battery on the passenger side and your auxiliary battery is going to go on the driver's side. So this is where it's mounted inside of the front grille. So if you pictured me standing in front of the vehicle right now, we would have the engine in front. The charger would be mounted basically in this location. As we follow the harness down, we're going to see it split into two main sections. The thinner section, is the one that goes across to our main battery and that is all labeled. So we've got main battery written on there and it's also got a MIDI fuse holder. So that's a high current fuse holder that's, Red Arc actually recommend that we use MIDI fuse holders on their equipment. It's a better connection than a push-in fuse holder, bolts down and it's solidly connecting for a high current circuit. So that would be threaded across, past the headlight, into the engine bay and connected to the main battery. If we look at the second part of the harness, slightly bigger in diameter, because it utilizes not only the auxiliary battery charging, but also the Anderson for solar. So same sort of thing, we'd be routing, routing in the other direction to the other side of the engine bay, connecting this to the auxiliary battery, labeled once again, auxiliary battery, another MIDI fuse holder, and we'd be connecting that positive and negative to our new auxiliary battery once it's been installed. Another part of the kit is the Anderson plug, labelled, once again, solar panel input. So any solar panel blanket that you use while you're camping to keep your battery topped up, you can plug straight into here and the Red Arc BCDC becomes the solar regulator. So yeah, you can plug that in. We've left plenty of length on there so that it's up to you and depending on your setup. For instance, if you had a bull bar on the front, maybe you would want to feed this out onto the bull bar so that it's easy. Um, installation of the solar when you're camping. You might want it to be more secure so that it's less noticeable. You can mount this inside the engine bay um, and just open your bonnet, plug your solar in while you're camping and sit the bonnet back down. So that we've left as options depending on your setup. Whereas the rest is perfectly designed to match the Prado. So if you jump on the website too, you'll see there's lots of videos, a full installation video of this kit. Um, lots of photos and information about the kit as well. When you do purchase a kit too, we also email you out digital instructions. So that's a PDF format, high quality photos, color photos, so you can really see the in-depth detail of it. And also video tutorials walking you through little parts of the process, such as simply removing the plastic grill at the front. You can see me do it. I'll walk you through exactly how to remove those clips and how to reinsert them. So check out the website. Check out all the details that we've got on there and see how easy it is to get this into your 150 series product.